Nestle The Swiss company founded by Heinrich Nestle in the late 1800s started life selling not the exotic comforts of chocolate, nor anything else that mirrored the companionable Nescafe of later years. It sold fertilizer. But fertilizer even then was old hat, or old something. Very quickly the company shifted focus, first into indulgent but very practical condensed milk, and then into the booming business that was milk chocolate. Henry Nestle moved quickly, buying up firms in Europe and opening factories from the United States to Australia. For 20 years Nestle prospered, but the 1920s were rough. Profits plummeted, demand fell. Only expertise in drying and condensing milk saw the company through. But its problems were to be more than solved by yet another problem on the other side of the world. Nestle were approached by the Brazilian Coffee Institute. What could they do with their unsaleable mountains of coffee in the bean? Could Nestle help? It sure could, and on the 1st of April 1938, it launched Nescafe. 70 years on, and it's still the company's leading product. Nestle promptly went global. Nutrition, Nest Tea, Health and Wellness, Kit Kat, Findus International, Smarties, Perina Pet Food, a stake in L'Oreal, and very quietly managed partnerships with America's General Mills. There's a very great deal more to Nestle than meets the eye, and you can read all about it in FMCG, The Power of Fast-Moving Consumer Goods, the new, just-published 600-page account of the world's top companies in perhaps the world's most powerful industry. FMCG, The Power of Fast-Moving Consumer Goods by Greg Thane and John Bradley, a comprehensive history of the world's top FMCGs, a must-buy for anyone in or studying the trillion-dollar world of FMCG. Available now on Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Kindle, Abe Books and other leading online bookstores.